Welcome back to Andy Cairns Nice Beer Reviews. Probably not a good beer for a school night, but we're gonna do it anyway. Pirate Life Trans Tasman Double IPA. Massive 500 mil can, and it's 9%. Take a guess in the comments how many standards that is. Two, three. 3.6. <laughs> 3.6 standard drinks. Why? I get the 9% thing. Couldn't you just go for 375 mil can? Anyway. You can get it online at like the craft beer online bottle shops and I think you might be able to get it straight from Pirate Life. But yeah, it's about $11.40 for a single can. Not surprising there, being it's large and potent. Obviously, Trans Tasman, so hops from New Zealand and Australia. Some of them out of Geelong. It's meant to be a malty and bitter taste, like an IPA with a bit of a nectarine fruity flavour to it. If you haven't yet, don't forget to enter the little giveaway I've got going on to the end of October. You can win a stubby cooler, sticker, and an Only Cans t-shirt valued at 80 bucks. Just click the giveaway link in my profile, follow the little steps in there, and you get a stack of entries. Anyway, let's give this a crack. Ooh, bit of kick to it. Sheesh, I'm half cut after that. 3.6 standard drinks on a weeknight. Probably not the smartest idea. Flavor wise, Big IPA taste, you know, it's 9%, it's pretty potent. Bitterness gives you a big hit at the start and then kind of mellows out. Got the multi bitter balance IPA and a bit of a fruity flavor. Honest thoughts, I just don't think it's got the quite the same refinement as the Black Hops lethal ones like Super Goat and the Neverland one. That was really good. This is not far behind, just not quite there. But I do like Pirate Life stuff that are heaps of cool things. They're always pushing the boundaries and putting random things in beers that probably shouldn't go in there. So, well done to them. If you like the potent, heavy beers, yeah, give it a crack. You can buy it as a single can, limited release. Hopefully there's still a few kicking around. But yeah, give a can a try. See if you like it. Score-wise, i give it a flat 8 out of 10, I think. Don't understand why it has to be in such a big can. I think it'd be more palatable just in a 375. If there's some reason why they do that in the 500s, let me know. I don't get it. 3.6 standard drinks. You ain't doing many of these. If you've got any more suggestions, throw them in the comments. If you want to support an episode, stickers, stubby coolers, t-shirts. I'm working on getting a bulk order of these in to make them a bit cheaper for you guys because they're a little bit pricey because I get them print on demand. So I'm trying to get a batch order in to drop them down by like 10 bucks or something. So I'll let you know how I go with that. But that's it for today. See you tomorrow.